All right, what do we got today, guys? Let's try to get some wins. All right. <clears throat> Choose a very guard, 100 gold. It's 100 gold. Attack base island, let's go. Might be. What you guys have? What have you guys done this week? Fill me in some news. What, what did I miss? I feel like this week has gone by. Ooh, an early bouncing. Poison. You work from home. Same old. And last week and the week before and the week before. <laughs> Quarantine's hitting differently, huh? Same. No, um, I got to D. I I I grinded to D3 on TFT. I'm currently D3 and DT right now. What's up, Psycho Grid? Psycho Rigid, rather. Ate some pizza. That's noteworthy. True. I broke Randy so that my mother-in-law could give me a hand with baby. I mean, that doesn't seem too bad, right? Like if you let your, your family in and they have a mask or they're, they're, they're safe. I feel like you should be able to see your family. Any such for someone who's relatively new to the game struggling to get your first win. Um, happy birthday, guitar. Happy birthday. So for, any tips for someone who's struggling to get the first win? Uh, so know that you can skip cards, right? I know this may seem like obvious tips, but like you can skip cards, all right? So don't take every card you see. Try to think about the fight you're you're going to be fighting, the next couple fights you're gonna be fighting, and make your deck as proactive and as good at solving the next fights that are ahead of you. So the best tip I can give you is focus on what you're gonna be fighting. So the next two elites, like what elite you're gonna see, and how you what you need to beat that, the boss that's coming up and how you need to beat that. And add cards to your deck that best suit those situations, right? And sometimes you'll need AoE, make sure you have AoE. And try to keep your deck consistent, make sure you can be able to block and you have a consistent attack. So you need a little bit of everything. Like, um, early game I would say, an early game tip would be try to go for the aggressive approach. Try to get some elites early game, builds offense early. And, um... I think it'd be good. We got a, we got a, um, we got a, we got a membership card. It's not bad. The shop's gonna be useless though. All right, so we got, got Corey membership card. This is gonna be a doozy. This is gonna be a doozy. All right, so we got some good offense here. I think. We also, oh my god, a third shop? Oh my god, no, no, no. Why three shops? Oh. Oh, that's tragic. That's tragic. At three shops in the back, three wasted shops just sucks, but it could be worse. This, this, this we have the money run. This is the money run right now. I think you still do, yeah. I think if you don't open the shop, you still lose relics. I know, it's an interesting start. It's membership courier, straight up. Alright, I don't know if we can do the second elite now. I was, I was hoping to save some more life so I can do the second elite, but... Oh, an early nightmare? What? 
An early nightmare seems sort of griefy, right? Seems like it's not the best play. Is that ever just flying me for more basic common attack? Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm scared. I'm scared here. Yeah, we got a curse. We got a curse right now. Oh man, this is gonna be scary, boys. Riddle of holes. So if it's if it's if it's Gremlin Leader, we have poison and we have to get poison early. If Cunning Pie, which is pretty good for Gremlin Leader, Gremlin Leader is pretty scary here. I would, do I need Riddle of holes to kill the Gremlin Leader here? So like, if it's Laga, I feel better. If it's Gremlin, I Cunning Pie and poison early. Maybe we can make the difference. We have weak pot. It's still very scary. Um, on the bright side, set up nightmare. You know, fuck, I'll do it for guitar. I think it's a bad idea though. I think it's a terrible idea. Hand, nice. Crippling cloud, nice. All right, I think, honestly, not the worst. I should have done dagger throw first. I should have done dagger throw first, huh? I'm trolling. I trolled him by not doing dagger throw first. So now I just don't play dagger throw at all. Because I, I want to hit Nightmare on a good target, potentially. So we just miss on 12 damage. Nightmare Bouncing just win the game, or is it Nightmare Cow Traps? Because Nightmare Cow Traps... Alright, fine. Could have been next Charity Pot fight. Probably could have been a Charity Pot fight. So behind on poison though. Mm, can't be right. I want setup to be on something better. What's up, Pod? Thank you for the tier 1 sub, man. Welcome back. Thank you, Pod. Alright. Bouncing Flash Offense. Really sick act one. Really, really sick act one. Really sick act one. After is cool, Muff at hand, but Force Explosion is just so big. Uh, this could be a choker run. This could be a choker run. Like, sometimes we set up in Nightmare, like... So, I, there's a world where, like, Nightmare cow traps, or, like, Nightmare any power, you're gonna really not want choker, because... Moment at hand with powers is like pretty broken, so it makes you not want choker, but energy is pretty good here. And I can't see a world where I want fusion hammer this early. So the fact that choker and nightmare is kind of awkward with Moment at hands might have to be offset by the fact that energy is too good here. Those are some decisions you have to make sometimes. 
as far as like certain elites are going I are we thinking that we could go for two three elites maybe two Could have been a nightmare piercing well actually. We took some damage in this fight, but it's like not the worst. Nightmare piercing well would have saved some life. Sugar's not that bad, guys. Sugar allows you to play six cards. Nightmare cow traps, do you guys want to try it? This is what I mean by this where Choker becomes bad. I gotta ask you if it's even worth it to play all those skills. Probably not, right? I was just fucking around, but this is not the fight to mess around. Uh, <laughs> this is not the fight to mess around with the cow traps. This is not the fight to mess around. Pillow's really good. I can't get Ori now. I I think I liked Ori, but Riga Pillow's a little too good. Crippling Cloud. It's on sale for 17. Crippling Cloud's on sale for 17. Strikes. I'll get rid of a lot of these strikes. Damn. Mega Pillow's gonna be so important here. Mega Pillow's gonna be really big, guys. This potion for the Bow Choker. Probably go down to use potion now, right? Hmm. So 18. 18 just kills. I is so important. Holy shit. Predator is pretty decent, right? Alright, so does this mean elites are a little bit eh? So like if, if I can't go for elites, do I just, am I just... Is this a one elite act or is it a two elite act? Like I would ideally want two elites, so I want to go this path. But, I don't know. Maybe I just want to go for upgrades instead. Upgrade, Crippling Cloud, and only get one elite. And we can treat the fact that we have membership card courier, we can treat that as like... I got a lot of relics from the shop. So I don't need elite as much because I got some decent relics. And let's just play it safer. So what punishes me the most? I mean, I just take a lot of damage from these elites in general. Like, going with two elites back to back is really dicey. Nightmare Piercing Will. Is it a Nightmare Piercing Will? Is it Nightmare Piercing Will? He doesn't attack next turn. Oh, that's interesting. Give him money. Let's 
true. So, there's where we would kill right now, right? He dies in the first hit. Um. Is potion kill here and save life? I would take six life. I can. I can just take six life. Take six. Not crazy here. I wonder if we ever want to. I don't want to. I don't know if I like Orton or Orton the fan here. I mean, it's not bad, but. Eh. I'm not gonna rest with this elite. Uh, I'm gonna go to a hard fight and an elite with not resting. Is that really stupid? Is that super stupid? Do I want to make setup better? Setup is awkward most of the time. Thirty-four. Setup is awkward most of the time. Better helps us find corpse explosion. Toxic game would have been so big. Corpse explosion would be huge here, please, sir. Please, corpse explosion. Thank you. fight for us. Uh, fairy in the bottle will help us be more aggressive. Do we not want to do dexterity pot then? And Venom is a power momified hand and gives us a little bit more scaling. And Venom is momified hand, but we don't really want to play attacks. So I guess this is a power, but do I care? I actually think shit pot is better than uh, fairy. I think dex pot we get rid of. And Venom's just a power momified hand, but what else is it? Other otherwise, it's just kind of trash. Like, sure, there's a world where I can invenom that, and that's kind of poggy, but with Choker, it becomes less pog. So it's like, eh. Let me get some more water. Uh, Venom's not even really a card here, and Cloak and Dagger's not really a card here either. I want Venom to be a card, but it's, it's not. Is Ritual Dagger a card here? I think it might be, but this is worth 100 gold. Because we have a membership card. Was worth a little bit more than 100 gold. This gold is worth a lot with the, the core membership card. I think it has some worth. Although Ritual Dagger, it must be said, it's it's very good. A little awkward poison though sometimes. All right, so here I want to try to high roll, and I want to I want them catch ups to hit one of these things. Can we guarantee it? If I survivor this, play this, and I play that. I can't play it my whole hand. But if I survive it first, I have better odds at least. What's the. Yo, think Panting. Welcome, man. I think we do. Crippling Cloud. Survivor and cow traps. 
And just repairing Ironclad priority cards. Priority cards? Okay. I think it's early, like, early game, you want some good front loaded. Carnage is a good front loaded card early game. Um, you want like, some scaling, so Inflame is a nice power. Spot Weakness is a very good scaling card. Um, just early damage cards are pretty decent. Like, Rampage could be okay early. You want early AoE, Cleave is fine. Like, uh, going for forward, priority cards that you want to maybe try to think about is like, there's a deck where you can have like Demon Form for your scaling and have strength dumping cards. Good block cards like Impervious. Um, utility cards like Shockwave. Battle Trance is very priority. Battle Trance card draw. Um, True Grip Plus is very important. Shrug it off is very consistent. It's hard to see like, offering is a strong card. Like feed, feed is very priority. Feed Reaper. Okay, so uh, the obvious things are feed Reaper are very good. Feed Reaper is very, very good. Specimen. Acrobatics. So, I still haven't used these potions. Is Scopot better than this Cunning Pot? I still don't think so. I still don't think Scopot is better than Cunning Pot here. Mm, actually, we don't need help killing the minions anymore. That's an apparition. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Enjoy dinner. I need a corpse version in the next turn though. I need a corpse version in the next turn, but I also wanted to keep apparition. Like it's tough because corpse version destroys the minions next turn. We had nightmare apparition though. So there's a couple things we could do, boys. We need nightmare apparition, and apparition costs zero with setup. Great things going on right here. That's a lot of intangible. Or we could do um, nightmare cow traps and have a lot of reflect damage. You guys want to go for the apparition approach? Fairy the bottle plus apparition together, the uncolorable combo. Because you could also do nightmare cow traps and then make it so that it's reflecting for twenty every hit, which is not bad with apparitions in general. If you're reflecting for twenty every hit, that's pretty nice, right? Let's do this. But the problem is, we still have to manage. Uh, still have to manage the minions here. It stays here because it's set up, so it's still zero. I think get back into Corpus Explosion. I guess we don't need Corpus Explosion anymore. I just got full block. Now we gotta start stacking poison on the collector and the like, ASAP. But our deck is a little slow in that sense. Oh, we have specimens. So specimens is actually really good here. Specimen allows the poison to scale up very nicely. Specimen is very good here. Specimen is very good here. I could do setup and apparition next turn if I need it. That's a beautiful thing about setup here. I want to try to cycle back into my... So I was going to do Predator because I want to cycle, cycle back into my apparition. But at the same time, I have Scopot right in the bottle. So even if I were to take damage, I'm not too worried. Getting the poison is more important. But we can still cycle into it. So I guess Scopot is if it saves me. Is it what it does? If it doesn't save me, then I just do fair in the bottle here. So it looks like it doesn't save me. And we have apparition for this turn, so it's GG.
Gorgeous. That damage is pretty good here. Pyramids are really good here. Pyramids are really good here. Oh man, guys. Pyramids are really good here. Holy snapples. We have Juzu as well here. Pyramid's quite good here, my lads. It looks like it's gonna be a win with Pyramid, guys. I need Aftermath played. I need to play after image because otherwise these things I need to upgrade after image really important so that I never take things like that again. So good. The upgrade after image is pretty good, but I also want to upgrade the other operations. Footwork, footwork is a decent power, like, uh, it's a little bit weird with Apparition, but it's still like a decent power, right? If we're going against Awakened One, Footwork is still a decent power, because Apparitions may not last forever, I may not want to always, uh, Nightmare Apparitions, lose a strike, nice, it's fucking perfect. Duplicate a card in your deck, nice. Alright, what the hell, these are just great events. Alright, so do we just, up, do we just duplicate Apt Apparition Plus, have more intangible, or... Du duplicate nightmare and have the ability to nightmare nightmare right so we have infinite nightmares and nightmare could also just be more apparitions in general so nightmare could potentially be three apparitions or i could just straight up upgrade the uh duplicate the apparition and now there's a world where like it's all coming together because in a way since i have footwork now if i don't duplicate apparition plus by having footwork my block density is still a little bit better so it's not as detrimental that i don't have a fourth apparition in my deck because at least i can still block a decent amount with dexterity and after image in consideration right and two piercing whales but you'll notice our deck severely lacks block and the only way it's truly blocking is with apparitions like our deck is an apparition deck so it makes me wonder if i really want to maximize if apparitions are always survive on maybe i just go duplicate nightmare here We have Nightmare Apparition here. We've got a uh, Corpse Explosion. I want to play after Mitch and Apparitions. We got Nightmare Apparition again. Can I discard one of them? I don't need that on my deck. So we gotta get Corpse Explosion going. We got Nightmare Plus. Do I have Nightmare Corpse Explosion? What am I nightmaring? Am I nightmaring just more, uh... This is free for now, but it won't be free next turn. I guess we could do setup a nightmare, or set up on something else. Like set up on Apparition, for instance. And we don't take damage next turn. Take one damage if I do this because I take two plus two. I only take one from each. Never mind. Now we just nightmare apparition and we just win. This is just like beautiful intangible comp. Alright. I mean I love it, it's very effective. 
is very effective. How can you not love this? I'll think of some counter any day of the week. My deck is kind of slow. Perfect. What's up, Misha? How you doing? Actually, look for Mind Bloom. We didn't get Mind Bloom. Corporate Explosion waiting room for this one. We found it. I could put setup on top of the deck. So Apparition stays over here. I could do this so they're all weakened. And they're all like, kind of low, so Corpse Explosion kills them easier. Make this so out of my deck. There's also a world where, like, I just kill them with some counter as well. If I just get the Nightmare Apparition thing. Because we do have two. We do have two. Uh, oh, this is perfect. We do have two Apparitions. Two, two Nightmares in our deck. This is just perfect. Beautiful. Specimen exists. Oh my god, I love it. Another crippling cloud. Do I need it? Do I need another crippling cloud? Do we have enough poison damage? Chat's a little dead right now, yeah. It's a, it's a weird time to be streaming Shay Slay the Spire right now. I gotta find a, a, a better time slot. I don't think I need a second crit I wanna upgrade more operations. I think after, getting after Mitch out is really important. I don't know how OP it really is. I mean, it's pretty OP, but I think. And we're gonna try it out today. We're gonna try it out today. Yeah, but that's the thing, that's like very hit or miss, right? I might watch it, yeah. What time is it? It's coming on soon, right? I have an Eastern. Wow. 
Yo, thank you for the... I, I don't think the chair went through Magenta, but... I just wanted to say that you're making quarantine easier to, and have time to uh, STS. Thank you, dude. No, no problem, man. I don't think it went through. But I appreciate it. Yo, thank you for the 300 bits, man. You probably just abuse your deck in, de in fights like this. I fucked it up though. It's a beautiful power of Nightmare to set up apparitions and pyramid. Enter now, right? I I guess it's good to practice like kind of mechanics behind that, right? Pathiosis. Is Pathiosis ever good? The ghost in the jar, kind of ghost in the jar is kind of fitting for what's going on. Enlightenment's kind of good. Enlightenment's kind of good. Enlightenment's like a, a, a different kind of setup. It's, it helps you maybe sometimes go online faster with Nightmare. The setup is probably a little bit cleaner. Especially if you upgrade setup. Clockwork Souvenir is pretty good, huh? It's like generally okay. 20 Thunder seems okay as well for some sustain. Let's remove another strike. Uh, do we like Apotheosis? Apotheosis upgrades all our apparitions. So we can go ahead and rest now. I'm gonna play on now because I wanted I want to try this 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 deck against the heart. I, I like these kind of nightmare combos. I'm gonna treat it as if I got, I I had the nightmare combo with John Head and I nailed it first try. Like I should have. Clock Shooting is just like generally okay, like I don't, I don't know, it's like whatever. And a deck that's like really going apparitions like crazy, do we really care about Clock Shooting that much? We're just gonna be intangible all the time? Do we really care about this? It's like, okay, let's say it stops the debuff. Well, the vulnerable. I mean, we're gonna have to hit apparitions in the first two turns. If you don't, we just lose. So I guess this is like insurance in case you don't hit. Bronze skills. Ghost in the jar. Let's go rest, get dream catcher valley. That good gamble is pretty good. That helps me hit. I just want to upgrade after image. Just nightmare after image here. Choker. We have two nightmares. I have apparitions in the deck. Why not? Why not just do that?
Okay. The poison helps me get a little bit more poison damage. I feel like I might need it just a little bit, right? We only have bouncing flask. I appreciate it. Am I ever doing that person here? I'm not sure. Only kind. Let's go, man. Congrats. Can you get the re left appearing in a normal lead fight? Yeah. It's a rare relic though. I don't necessarily want to take damage here. I feel like I just do piercing will. I don't really want to take damage. Specimen is just rare. That's all. I don't want to take damage. Let's not take damage. I'm taking one damage anyways. Just take it back. I'm taking three. We'll find Corpus Explosion in two turns, yeah? We're now a little bit lower on life, unfortunate. Catalyst. Ooh, it's all we needed was a catalyst. That's the worst event I've ever could see in my life. It's quite literally the worst event you could see there. Catalyst wants to be upgraded big time. I wonder if we ever try to do some like nightmare shenanigans on after image. So this fight wants to do nightmare catalyst, yeah? So we wanted to survive for nightmare catalyst here. We got set up a nightmare. I just go, do I do ghost here to preserve life for the next fight? Or do we pers do we hold on? Do we just ghost here? We're gonna need cards for next turn, that's the thing. We only have like five cards next turn. Hmm. Five cards, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. All right, so then I have to do cow traps and something else. Piercing. Kite, what's up, man? 
So, so then it's like it's like you gotta think about all right, how do you play this fight? If this fight is a little bit slower pace. Do we do the infinite nightmare apparition stuff for this fight as well? So we just go infinite apparitions. So for this fight, you break you abuse infinite. You just gotta survive until you get infinite, basically. That's how you win this fight. Hmm, okay. So we got Nightmare Nightmare, but it's not set up. You know, set up makes my life a lot easier. So, I mean, can we afford to look for setup? I think infinite apparition makes the most sense. How do we look for setup here when well, both numbers are right here? We really can't. We really can't set up here. We can get set up next time though. Um, what we do though is we nightmare nightmare. And then we calculate a gamble. Mm. You can set up on the nightmare though. It helps a lot. This saves a lot. We cash up here to help this guy die. But we here. We got nightmare, nightmare. Scotty with the Twitch Prime, appreciate it, man. Thank you, welcome back, 15 months. Oh, there's still one nightmare in the deck. Fucking perfect. There's still one nightmare in the deck, please. There's still one apparition in the deck. Perfect. Perfect, so now we gotta find the second nightmare and then draw into apparitions. So we still gotta find the second nightmare before we can play anything. We have, we have one more apparition we can draw into, so I can play this one if I want to. If I want to, I can play this one. Or is there one more in the deck? Just one more. Alright, let's look at it this way. We need to draw exactly three.
fit anything anything. It doesn't fit anything at this point. There's another apparition in the deck, yeah? can't lose. Yeah, you can't lose when this happens. Interesting. Alright. Now, do I upgrade setup? Do I upgrade the other apparitions? Do I upgrade Calculated Gamble? I upgrade Callus, right? Callus make my life easier. We, do we upgrade Callus to make our life easier or upgrade apparitions so we don't lose it? Because making sure we have an apparition that doesn't exhaust is pretty important. Well, the first lead give me enough time, that's the question. Yeah, that's why we need to upgrade Apparition. Because we need to make sure Apparition doesn't disappear. Because we need to get that going ASAP. Strange Spoon? Do we ever... Now we don't run out of Apparitions? If we do Strange Spoon? That's interesting. Uh, I don't know if that actually helps me or not. Cards that would exhaust no longer exhaust. It might blow up my deck in a, in a bad way, yeah? It might just be War Paint. If I can upgrade the other apparition or catalyst, like that's probably the best thing. Yeah, but we already we already have infinite nightmares. We don't need to strange can just mess me up actually. Is it just remove a strike actually? We just remove a strike? It's either upgrade or remove a strike. So we got a nightmare. A couple things we could do. We could do a nightmare after merge, but I think the nightmare infinite is, is pretty strong, right? Granted that you have apparitions to help secure you get infinites, then that Nightmare Infinite just beats the game no matter what it is. The only thing that might kill us is the the heart, which has Beat of Death. So what we need for that one is to actually upgrade After Image as well. So we need a Nightmare After Image, Nightmare Apparitions, and Nightmare Everything Else. Or for the heart, we, all we gotta do is just survive until he's dead and we can try to prioritize poison before anything else and if we prioritize enough poison he'll die before he kills us so that's fine so i think in this situation we actually we don't try to nightmare after image or anything like that and we exclusively try to find apparition and I, and, I, and we did it we found it so uh, uh we win now Now we nightmare to nightmare, and then we play apparition, and then um, and we also have setup. That's insane. That's insane. That's actually insane. And now we just nightmare the nightmare.
just need copper explosion. We, we need drop copper explosion now. What's up, Festive Bezif? So, what I was saying is that, like, if we could keep After Image, let's say we don't play After Image at all, right? So, if we don't play After Image at all, there's a world where we have Nightmare After Image, Nightmare Apparitions, and then Nightmare Catalyst, and we just win. But do I just skip the After Image part and just go straight into Nightmare. straight into Nightmare Shenanigans? We got two Nightmares in a relatively small deck, so that's the reason why I duplicated it, because. The power of infinite nightmares is so much higher than the power of extra apparition. The only reason why we need one more after image is because of the beat of death being an issue. So on the, on the multi hits, on the multi hits he does 15 damage, right? And I only have 30 life. But it's the multi hits that are the problem. So like I need to have 15 block for the multi hits. But I was arguing that like we can still block a decent amount of the 15. And applying a poison where where like before my heart the heart before this becomes a problem with the 15 damage from the intangible because it'd be multi-hit maybe i just kill him with poison but i don't know i think leaving the aftermath as a possibility is still something to consider because uh well we're about to if i don't find apparition next time I, I guess i just lose We get the draw now, but if we draw now, then like, uh, if we draw now, then what? What is it actually accomplishing? So this is why we maybe want to play after after now, just to kind of get energy efficiency and space in our hand. But if we play after image now, like I said, we're a little bit worried sometimes about the, the multi hit still doing 15 damage to our face. But if I kind of focus on getting enough poison, I guess we can kind of circumvent that, right? I don't know. I don't think I don't think I'll ever have time to actually do that, to be honest. So let's just hope that we don't get um. Okay, I could do piercing one for the first one while we're setting up. So while we're setting up, I could do like nightmare, nightmare, and just do piercing one now, right? Maybe even upgrade these cards just because it makes my life easier. All right. 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. That's fine. I think we do footwork here, get it out of the way. slow my combo be a little bit slow on the combo here probably it's probably a little bit problematic this gets rid of artifacts we have another apparition in the deck so worst case scenario we have another apparition in the deck uh, we, can, we can do this getting a week is pretty important here just in case it's multi hit okay cool so we have one more apparition this is fine Actually, just fine. And then we got a stall for Nightmare next turn. Does that make sense? Okay, 
is beautiful. The Mega Life user Mega Life merch free. So we can make Bouncing Flash free actually. And Sing Lambert free as well. Now we just, if we just name the catalyst, I think we just win. We're approaching winning territory if we name the catalyst here. block next turn because next turn is uh well it's already dead worst case scenario we have piercing will cool deck it's like the concept first like if you take a specific amount of things so if you take like apparitions nightmare pyramid and put it on the silent well and you can create perfect, like almost never. Like it's a really low score because it's just a, it's just a cheese, just a cheese. It's funny. <laughs>